the wee baby in action. Printing a cube at 150. All point two layers. Just warming up the printer, getting everything to run smooth. So I'm just printing stuff. Nothing special. Checking that um, the amp is right. No overheating on the motors. I, I did have to, uh, to decrease the motor amps a little bit. They were at 1000 and um, I actually only usually run at 800. So that's uh, at 1000 they got very hot. So now at 800 they are fine. So I think 800 is what we need. And um, yeah. just waiting for some parts. The heated, uh, the heated bed, the the silicone heater for the bed, and uh, some fans. <laughs> I'm not having. I do not have any layer cooling at the moment. <laughs> but uh, this is looking very good. I really enjoy this project. Very happy to build this from scratch uh, one more time. Of course, I already built the the prototype. We have the prototype over here. Here's the Viking. Here's the prototype. It's a little bit smaller, 180 by 180 by 160. But that's a long time ago, and it was a development process, so not the same as building a kit. So uh, this baby is 200 by 200 by 200. Um, I need to check if I can actually read 200 in the C direction. I'm not sure. I need to check that out. Anyway, <clears throat> this is the kit from Maker Supplies, which I've bought and built myself. And um, printed all the parts, of course. All the white parts and blue parts are printed. The acrylic was also bought by um, actually a gift from Maker Supplies. So you can buy these acrylic panels on Maker Supplies as well. If you want to have a nice uh, tinted uh, acrylic uh, finish on uh, around the electronics. I'm gonna do a more in-depth walk around on this printer when uh, I have everything installed. So that's it for now and I'll be soon back with uh, how to do the electronics for this printer. So make sure to subscribe guys. See you soon. Stay safe.